Shattering expectations, unlocking potential, succeeding in ways no one thought was possible. I'm not talking about pro athletes. I'm talking about you. Okay, we haven't even started training. I haven't even started my workout. I haven't even started warming up. And I'm fucking drenched. <laughs> That's a little indication of how we roll in the Iron Paradise.视频前的你记住微信 This is what we call therapy, iron therapy. It's also what we call, uh, what's that term? Uh, oh, fucking crazy. Yeah. After about an hour and 40 minutes, it's about the time where I start looking around and everybody like, you motherfuckers. I just start to get angry. Then I gotta reset myself. I reset. I love you all. Just landed in Beijing with uh, my entire team, and the whole team thinks we're going to sleep, but <laughs> I have other plans. We're going to the gym. Effort for me has always been one of those important daily anchors because I feel like it's the one thing that I can control. All right, see, every time I travel internationally, uh, their uh, weights are in kilos, and I don't know how to convert kilos to pounds. Yeah, so here's the thing I do. So I just look down here, and I, you know what I do? I grab the heaviest shit possible. All right, it's very caveman-like, but, but it works for me. It's a great feeling to get in the gym in the morning, set a goal, and leave the gym knowing you accomplished it. Because at the end of the day, it's never too early or too late to get after your goals. And once you start that first step and you take that action, that's gonna be what creates the momentum. And once you get that momentum going, then you're off to the races.
Put in work. Big dogs eat. Little crying puppy stay on the porch. It's that kind of workout here on this Sunday at the West Coast Iron Paradise. And now we're taking it to the next level. Because out come these chains, and when the chains come out, it means the big dogs are going to eat, and the little crying puppies stay on the porch. Or as my little twin, Kevin Hart, likes to say, when the big dogs take a piss, then the little dogs eat the bump. It's hurt my neck. It's hurt my... <laughs> All right. Let's get after it today on this Hardcore Sunday. Have a great workout. And I always kick my weeks off on Sunday, not on Monday. I get a head start, so Sunday it is. Let's roll. Big Dog Z. Now, tell me, who are you? I am Hercules! If you want me, you can have me. Some other time. How does it make you feel? feel it doesn't matter how it makes you feel! Boy. Training for me has become very defining, has become part of my life, lifestyle, it's defined me in many ways. When I was 14 years old I started training and I thought to myself, if I can, I want to be successful in the way I, I know how to be successful I think are the men I admire and those men in my life were pro wrestlers who were my uncles and my dad and uh, my routine for this film was training six times a, a week. This, this was a, a hell of a prep for a movie like this where it it revolves around the world of bodybuilding and the culture of bodybuilding that we love, by the way, that we grew up on. So the prep was a good, I don't know, eight to ten weeks, six times, six times a, uh, six times a week, training twice, do my cardio in the morning. How many grams of protein you eat? Pick you some now! What the rock is cooking? Seven whole meals. Uh, I think two steak meals. Uh, there's going to be two fish meals, two uh, chicken meals. There's also going to be um, there's going to be a protein drink. Four o'clock in the morning, I wake up, have my caffeine. Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Then by 4:30, 4:45, I'm doing some sort of cardio. Uh, I do this, and then I'll have breakfast, and then I will go do all my strength and conditioning training at a gym for about an hour, and then I'll go to set. Uh, between cardio, strength, and resistance training, stretching, maybe about um, an hour and 45 minutes. It's probably somewhere between five and 7,000 calories a day that's very balanced of carbohydrates and fats and proteins and greens and things like that. The number one thing that a lot of people, for whatever reason, become adverse to, carbs are your friend. I like the way you think. Come on. Carbs are good carbs. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I appreciate you guys so much. All right, I'm out, and I'm going to go get a bad haircut. Mm.